Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verl is here, and today we have a battle with Chris. He says that it's a strategy I've never seen before and would never have thought of, and it's using that Del Fox. So we're going to see how this one goes. Double battles in, with Del Fox, and I also see a Hallucha. I, this could get pretty intense. I, I'm really excited for this one. I've seen Hallucha do a lot of things that are pretty crazy. Ooh, double shiny. And that, that's actually some really nice color synergy. I can see that they had their wardrobes match up beforehand. Ooh, so there's a leading with that rock slide, doing a ton of damage with the Halucha. My goodness. That's some craziness right there. Talonflame already goes down. And Dragonite, he, he took some damage right there. So Delphox gets put into a substitute. Dragonite using all that dragon dance, doing what he does. Because, you know, with that, with the, that ability, you just get a free dragon dance no matter what. And here we go, Garchomp Dragonite versus Delphox and... Did, what? Did that, did that Halucha just fling the Razor Fang for the flinch? That's pretty crazy. So here comes Focus Blast from Dragonite. I haven't seen that one before, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Garchomp gets flinched. Here comes Sky Drop from Halucha. What's Delphox going to do? It's in that substitute. And I'm waiting for some craziness, so it gets that Will-O-Wisp off. You know, that's a good strategy, you know, the Sky Drop is really... It buys you that turn to set up, it buys you that turn for the one-on-one. -on -one. So Dragonite keeps going with that Dragon Dance. Now that it's burned, though, it's not going to have too much of an impact in the battles. And Halucha is about to man-drop this Garchomp. Here it comes. Oh man, boom! That's not too much damage, but... Again, it did what it needed to do. It just got a lot of craziness going on and trying to buy the time that was needed. So another Will-O-Wisp coming out. Garchomp and Dragonite are effectively shut down at this point. Draco Meteor coming from the Garchomp though, so the burn didn't really do too much. And Halucha, will it go down? No, the survival from Halucha. Garchomp special attack drops. Dragonite, while flying in the air, gets hurt by its burn. Garchomp hurt by its burn. Okay, come on, Delphox. I want to see what you got. So another Sky Drop from Halucha. That means Fly is going to miss from the Dragonite. And Mystical Fire on Delphox's side. Not doing a crazy amount of damage, but it was not a very effective hit. Dropping that special attack. So what I see here is that Delphox gets behind his substitute, has a support Pokemon playing for it, and then lowers the special attack of one Pokemon, or uses Burn to lower their physical attack, thus being just a really nice status Pokemon. I could see that working very well. So Halucha using that Sky Drop, doing a good bit of damage to Garchomp, Burn's going to finish him off at the end of the turn, Willow us back onto the Absol. That's some craziness. Alright. So Absol's burned now. Garchomp doing that Draco Meteor, trying to break the sat or trying to break the substitute from Delphox, most likely not going to. Delphox is specially defensive, and Garchomp has already lost special attack from the first Draco Meteor. Ice Beam from Absol. On to Delphox as well? What is this? Anything would have worked better, but it does fade the substitute nonetheless. And burn from Garchomp. So Delphox is just kind of doing his thing and it's working very well. So, where's the big finish? Where's the final move? Where's like, where does this, this break all reality? So that is indeed a Mega Absol. It looks like a special attack Mega Absol. It is a pretty interesting Pokemon. It has Ice Beam, uh, Thunderbolt, and something else. Flamethrower. But it doesn't matter, because Flying Press just goes and finishes it off. That was an interesting battle right there. So Delphox actually doing a good bit of work, and Halucha playing good support. That must have been a tankier Halucha, because it wasn't taking a lot of damage. Sure, it seems like the opponent probably didn't have a lot of EV train Pokemon, maybe not that much experience, but Delphox's strategy came through, and that's pretty awesome. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and one more Fan Fridays coming soon.